Okay, this is a Victorian townhouse with all sorts of damp problems, none of which are difficult to solve. And it's really interesting that you can actually use this as a very good example of, of temperature differences in, in a house on the walls. Now, as you can see, we've been doing a little bit of fiddling around on the outside. I'll come back to these, but for the moment, I just want to show you the, the outside of the house um, and the situation we've got. So here we've got a, a corner with a, uh, a big plant right up against it. And down the bottom here, I've been fiddling around, taking paint off walls, having a look at what's going on. And you can see in the corner there, hidden behind all that, there is a brick wall, a garden wall, butted up against the, uh, the wall. So that's actually trapping moisture up against the wall. And the other thing that we've got here too is high ground levels. The ground here is just about at the height of the top of the floors inside, so um, it's not real clever. The wall here, just to explain, is covered in plastic paint, and I've been chipping it off and chiselling it off, and wherever we've chiselled off, we've exposed quite wet, uh, very damp, wet mortar, lime mortar between the joints. So, if we now go inside, you'll see what's happened inside the house as a result of all of this. So we've got the wall, don't forget, up against the, um, the external wall, and that's trapping moisture. We've got plastic paint trapping moisture. And this is that internal corner. And if I highlight that, you can start to see dampness, all of this quite damp and wet. You see the paint there quite damp and wet. Very typical problems which most damp companies tend to turn around and say it's rising damp, and of course it's not. So what we saw outside we predicted was going to happen inside and sure enough it is. And if you look there, it's not quite easy, you might be able to sit better. There we go. All of this dampness down here is as a direct result of what we saw outside. So we know the ground levels are too high. And we've also got gypsum plaster with plastic paint on the inside, so the wall is effectively a swimming pool.